The third point I wish to make is, General Parmara is the best chef to answer. We have been running after a lot of players. The army has three IIT, IIT, uh, IITs, Military College of Electronic and Mechanical Engineering, MCME, yeah. MCT, CME. Please put your faith in them. Army Commander Artrack has unlimited budgets. Give it there and outsource people. So say I want to develop some AI, give it to MCT. Any good minds like Anirudh or whoever, there are provisions, hire them. And get that thing cracking. These three along with the corridor in UP and the corridor in Bangalore, Mysore should be our Silicon Valley. Without a Silicon Valley, the Indian military will not go to the next stage. This should be our, our, our Silicon Valley. What worries me about the Silicon Valley is that in both the Silicon Valleys, yeah. I see what is repeating Bell. PSUs, Jinone Yamari Mushkil Banai, Wai Sil Wai Tuara Pada Ore. It has to be startups. And there are, I can swear by at least 10 startups in defense who will revolutionize our defense. All that they need, they need no mehrbani, they just need orders, orders, and orders yeah. so that they can go on. So I'm pointing to the need, the prospect, and the great possibility of technology coming in this point. So let me, and fourth point, just two points more and quickly, and then I'll return the floor back to General Park. In the larger gamut of technologies, SP, Technology Tracker, look at what, you know, I've been making this point. If you are determined, see what can happen. 2003 to 2007, in 65 leading critical emerging technologies, America leads in 60 out of 65. A reflection of their power. Only superpower? Technology they dominate. Then China embarks on this thousand talents plan, diaspora strategy. By 2019, 2023, China leads in 57 out of 65. What a dramatic inversion of the dance. The good news is that in that same tracker, I saw we were number third. In a number of them, distant third, but third. Can we not pick 10 technologies and say in eight years we'll be leading in these eight technologies? And now, the point of talent. You will never get to this. I don't want to sound derisive. This kind of stuff, cutting edge stuff, will not come with engineers at 2 lakhs. Startups are paying 6 crores in India. 1000 talents plan, China said, when they were nowhere, they said the best Chinese from anywhere at rock star pay. Let's not await this. You will not get it at this. You have to acknowledge that talent matters in technology. The committee will not build the engine, Defense Secretary's committee. Another committee will not get you an engine. It has to be these minds. Even then it may not happen, but at least the possibility increases. Is there? Keep yeah. repeating the same thing, it will not happen. AMCA, I can tell you today, will not deliver unless you have these kind of minds. It has just been announced. Let's not make the same mistakes of the past when so much is possible. And the last point is, the point that I make, very often, where is India's Chris Miller? Unless you have Chris Miller or that kind of tradition where you study the geopolitics of technology and convince our defense top brass that it is not technology for technology's sake. This is what technology is doing to deterrence and war fighting. So I'm making a case for deterrence so that you don't have to war fight. If Pakistan had seen our technological ascendancy by an order of magnitude, I'm just saying hypothetically, if they knew that by next time they do an attack, Asud Masood Asar will be destroyed in his bed. They would not have done it. They know that the instrument is blunt. It will either padega, udhar padega. Just one last thing about technology. I'm a gunner. We were told in our time, if you bracketed a shoot in 35, 40 minutes, you were told, excellent shoot, outstanding. Today, with AI enablement, with all those flying binoculars, Artley shoots are finishing in three minutes. 40 to 3. So you can go endlessly about technology. This is, you know, all, all, this, all, all these things uh, that we can do. 
also a very determined like this future warfare program and all nobody will give you technology unless you understand technology let me give you one very small instance when i was a major doing staff college raja ramanna had come to staff college well and he asked a question he said who's the leading it exponent of the world of in india people said uh, this guy here congress chap who's sitting in us what's his name who led our it revolution sam petroda sam petroda somebody said sam petroda some he said general krishna swami sundar ji he is here in wellington go to his room after retirement he had 50 network computers he used to experiment raja ramanna saying this about sundar ji and the point i am making he was an infantry man no degree just a passion for technology yeah unless yeah, yeah. you have that passion in the military you will produce three and four stars who very respectfully are illiterate about technology and if yeah. you are not literate about technology it will never ye bhai drdo humko de dega ye humko band karna padega if i am conscious about technology i will leverage the fine institutions that i have under your nose commandant uh, general panwar has been a commandant of one of them mct this yeah. and i can tell you from experience there is no dearth of funds you have to give money for people to experiment if some youngster says ki sir main micro explosives ke sath main drones ko combine karunga what is it it is loiter of the future youngsters have come in the army to us 